When the preseason poll came out for GLIAC football, Davenport was picked to finish dead last. But as they prepare to play Ferris State on Saturday, the Panthers find themselves tied for first with two games to play. As Alec Janakopoulos reports, they wouldn't be in this position without the help of an unexpected transfer. There wasn't much to celebrate for Davenport last season. They averaged around nine points a game and were only victorious three times. But this year's a completely different story. We blew up the offense, man. Davenport head coach Sparky McEwen needed someone to shake things up on offense and found a man of many names. I call him the Red Rifle. Jay Witt, Jay Dub, you know, Jay, Jay, um, Jay Double. Um, J double D, I don't know, just all, all sorts of things. Whatever you call him, Jason Whitaker has this offense clicking. He's breaking team passing records in his one year as a Panther. Those are titles he'd never thought he'd have. After a standout year at Rockford, he accepted a scholarship to Northwestern. Coach Fitz was a huge reason why I went there. Um, just really believed in, in his vision there and what, what he saw for the program. With college came changes. Jason couldn't find a spot on the roster. I was going from, you know, fighting for the fighting for a QB job. I got I got switched to tight end and then COVID hits and I'm, I'm back back living at home. So it's just my life just kind of took it took a turn. He was in a dark place wondering if his career would end at the pandemic's terms. There was just a lot of you know soul searching at that time and uh, I, ca I came to Jesus and uh, he, he's, he saved me and he picked me back up and he's given me this opportunity to play again. A changed man, he hit the transfer portal and Sparky wasted no time to get him in the red and black. He kind of flew under the radar and uh, but he's no longer under the radar. He only had two months to get fully up to speed and after that he was hooked. He texted me at 1130 at night and I'm sitting there saying to myself, oh boy, what's going on? I, I just told him like, you know, my, my heart's for this team and like, you know, I, I, I'm going to do whatever it takes for us to win. I don't care if I'm a starter. I don't care if I'm, I don't care if I'm the third string or the fourth string. And at that point, I'm like, wow, I just kind of like, Whoo. You know, he, he's here. There are only two regular season games left on Davenport's calendar, and their quarterback is going to enjoy his second chance with every snap he has left. I don't want to walk away from this game without, you know, just giving it everything I have. Reporting from Davenport, I'm Alec Janikopoulos, News 8. And they play at Ferris State Saturday at 1 o'clock.